Hi Aries, it's Elle here. We're gonna do a really quick love message. Thank you for being here. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Aries with a quick love message from you. Amen. All right, so how Aries is coming to the reading is the magician, okay? Um, you're trying to manifest something. You have an idea in your mind of how you want this thing to play out, how you want it to go. You're using your words wisely. Um, it also says you're playing your cards right, or it says play your cards right. Uh, don't let the other person know your hand. Don't tip your hand too soon. Um, again, the magician rules language. So something you're saying, something um, that you are relaying is uh, you're trying to have some effect here in terms of what you're saying. You're trying to persuade or someone is trying to persuade you. But this is your energy. So let's see. Your person is coming to the reading as the Ace of Swords. So definitely you guys are having some communication here. Um, your person understands and they see clearly now. They have clarity um, of mind in terms of what this is. And uh, maybe they were confused or um, there was a misunderstanding or something was uh, misleading. But now they, they actually understand what you're trying to say. They understand what they're bringing to the table. They understand that, you know, this communication that you guys have had, it has brought about some irrevocable changes. You guys can't go back from this. Okay. Um, the inevitable has happened. Maybe somebody sped up the process. It could have been you, Aries. Um, you had a conversation that maybe you guys kept trying to avoid the elephant in the room but it looks like you and your person have some clarity of mind these both being one cards um, the magician is one the ace is one um it's really how you both are coming to the relationship your identity in terms of how the both of you look at each other is differently okay uh just by way of communication and words the advice here for this relationship is the four of cups yeah so it might be a missed opportunity someone's not taking to it someone is um regretful remorseful resentful um again someone didn't see the blessing that you were or vice versa you didn't see it um so a missed opportunity because someone was too self-centered too focused on their own intentions their own goals everything was centered around self and not looking at the whole here this card talks about being so self-centered. You don't see what is being presented before you. Um, you so with this being the advice is maybe the cards want to tell you that either you or the other person is coming from a place of self-centeredness, maybe even selfishness. Um, have apathy, you know, empathy for this person. Uh, they're just not... They just can't see past what it is they want, their desires here. Um, therefore, it's it's always leaving them in a space of feeling left out, maybe even depression. It could be you, it could be the other person, but there's an energy of, I said what I said, and now the person sees things clearly, and now it's, somebody's at a place of being rejected or rejection is happening. The outcome to this connection is the yeah, the ten of swords. It could be um, karmic. You know, there was some karma that needed to be worked out between the two of you. There is a lesson to be learned. The ten of ten of wands. I said ten of swords. The ten of wands. It, it's the the karma that we create for ourselves. The ten of wands talks about um, just doing. It's the act of doing with no set intention in game in result so th therefore you always feel like you, it's wasted effort wasted time you would feel that way if you were in a connection because this is about love if you were in a connection where you didn't know where it was going what you guys were doing if there were no title that's the karma that you create for yourself therefore when you have these type of conversations up front you can kind of skirt pass all of that and um you can let the chips fall as they may there also could be somebody you know being overly dramatic or playing the victim here uh victimization but something definitely is ending here and it needed to end so that something good can come in 
um, the Ten of Wands talks about there is something in this relationship that needs to be examined. And um, it looks like you guys are in the discovery process of that. You've discovered something and you've talked about it. And now you're at the Ten of Wands where uh, it, can, it may fall apart. Okay. It may fall apart. It collapses. Um, it, it can't stand uh, because it's too much of a burden. This could also talk about secrecy. Someone has to tell you a secret. You have to tell someone else a secret. Someone wants you to keep a secret. I don't know, but it looks like there's rejection because um, you've had conversation up front, maybe about intention or about your identity or how you want to be taken or how you want to be... Um, how you want to be defined in this relationship or how you want the other person to see you. Therefore, it, you know, it's, it's causing the Ten of Wands to happen. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be some sacrifice here. Somebody really wants to work with you and they want another chance. This could be you. There needs to be forgiveness. It seems as if somebody's still holding on, but still holding back and still wants maybe you as a third party or um yeah as a third party or they want you in secrecy here but it looks like somebody's trying to skirt away from that so this is your reading aries if it resonates for you go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the text question or you can text the question to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link thank you guys many blessings to you